What's going on everybody? Harmsway Chad here, comic book collector, therapist, but today I want to talk about how to avoid being scammed on Instagram when you're wanting to make a purchase of a comic book or a collector's item, something like that. So you found the book, the book you've been looking for, and you go to this Instagram account and there it is for a price that you've been waiting for and you make your purchase and then all of a sudden you send the money and then they ghost you. It happens a lot. So here are some things that I have found to be helpful and useful to avoid being scammed or frauded or everything else, or basically losing your money. So number one, follower following account. So you go to this Instagram account that you want to make this purchase from, go look at their follower following account. If they are following 3000 people and yet only have 200 people following them back, probably should practice caution and red flag that as a potential no-no. Number two is going to be, I did this because I needed to write notes. Oh yeah, go to the account itself and then scroll to see when they made their very first post. If it was within the last two weeks, probably should practice caution, probably should uh, just red flag it because legit sales, legit sales uh, Instagrams will have a lot of posts and they've been around for a lot longer than two weeks, even a month. Um, or at least just practice caution when interacting with that account. Uh, number three, this is this is the one that you have to do a little bit of homework on, is look at the pictures. Um, if you see one, here, for example, if you see one of them that has this graded comic on a red background, okay? And then you see all of a sudden, you see another one, different one altogether, and there's a silver background. And then you see all of a sudden another one and it has a kitty cat background. Guys, legit sales we uh, websites and legit sales Instagrams will always be consistent with their photography. They will have the same background, they'll have the same shot, because they've worked really hard to get that perfect angle where there's not, see, see this little halo here? Where there's not one of those, they've spent their time, they are more legit. But also number four is the eBay scam. What they're doing is they're taking sold on eBay pictures and then push, 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 <laughs> they're taking those pictures and they're posting them on Instagram. So therefore it looks like a book that's going to be sold, but pay attention to the background. Like I said, because if there's three black backgrounds and all of a sudden one white, and then one of them was done in the bathroom and one of them was done on a piece of cardboard, look out for that and actually go to eBay and look it up in the sold area. And you're going to find, you probably will find that book and then you'll know it's a scam. So I don't think I have a fifth. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, number five, reach out to the comic book community at large. There are a lot of groups here on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Reddit, that all you have to do is simply ask, have you ever bought from this seller? Most people will be like, no, but I, you know, or they'll go check them out and they'll be like, nah, man, kind of scammy. Or they'll be like, yeah, had a great experience with that person. Reach out to the comic book community at large and have them help you out as well. With that being said, that was five hints, tips, tricks on how to not be scammed on Instagram. With that being said, I'm Harmsway Chad. I'm gonna make some chicken wings. Bye.